Oliver's over and under drive. What is it? Had a few requests and uh, kind of the basic operation of it. It is a three speed auxiliary transmission that mounts down there between the engine and the main transmission. It's a shift on the go unit. Uh, levers over here on the side on pretty much all the Olivers. If you have over and under, if you have hydropower, it's down here. But uh, you pick your gear and Oliver's nearly had six forward speeds and two reverses and basically it's just a three speed forward one reverse with a range shift that you use with the same lead lever instead of having to have two separate levers to shift so you pick uh say you want to work in third gear that'll get you up around uh around five mile an hour i think in overdrive so you pick third gear and then once you're in it uh, under is the slowest and that is a mechanical gear it's a works with the sprag clutch which is a one-way clutch so the tractor can roll downhill faster than the engine's going so it's one you want to be careful with um, because it can speed up on you uh, direct drive is a clutch pack it's a power shift clutch pack that it's the strongest of the three ranges so if you're really pulling something hard and worried about uh maybe breaking it or working it too hard directs your one to be into and then overdrive um, uses a planetary gear set to speed the output up so underdrive is about 20 percent slower it depends on uh, the over and under unit they change the gearing in them a little bit but uh, about 20 percent 17 to 20 percent slower than if you're in third gear and third gear is normally four mile an hour you'll slow down 20 percent compared to direct which would be the same as if there was just a straight shaft in there all that does is direct drive is connect the shaft end on the clutch to the transmission end no gear reduction or uh, speed up so under drive will give you about 17 percent slower speed more pull go up to direct uh speed you back up to the uh, engine speed of the shaft then overdrive speeds you up about 20 percent faster than what the engine's turning so it gets you uh another range on in a field uh generally these three speeds on most conditions will get you what you need you can um uh shift up and down uh i use them when i'm on the field i uh, don't matter what rpm horse or you know i i use them shift them when i want to uh, you don't have to clutch or anything just move the lever and uh the only time i do get take it easy on them is going down the road uh you got a lot less gear reduction so and there's a bigger jump in speed you know from under drive wide open i think is around like 13 mile an hour on this tractor um i think you jump up to around uh 16 or 17 in direct drive and then up around 20 in overdrive so you're talking a big jump in speed you don't have as much gear reduction and and so it's just it's a lot harder on the main clutch it's a lot harder on the over and under so what i do is i get about half throttle and then shift up shift up and then uh throttle up the rest of the way and that way i'm not putting full horsepower through it or the main clutch it just uh seems to work good on them and then uh, when i'm slowing down they say don't sh skip gears but if, like if i'm coming down the road and i'm in overdrive i'll throttle back some but i you don't want to like be wide open and just drop to direct especially if you got a big load behind you that puts a lot of backlash on the gears and um, i've seen a couple of plates that hold the input shaft uh, kind of bent out from that because of the shock load or whatever you want to call it from the sudden slowdown so i just leave it over and use the engine to throttle back and then when I'm getting slowed down, then I just jump all the way to underdrive and let it coast until the engine or the slick tractor slows down to engine speed. Then uh, throttle down some more. And just depends on you know, if I'm just going uh, pulling in a driveway and uh, can slide it into the next gear. But that works good for me. Other than that, if I'm in the field, if it's wide open if it's half throttle i'll shift it whenever no need to use the clutch or anything they're heavy enough for that um, as far as checking them out check the oil 
Usually I'll reuse the automatic transmission fluid. Uh, Dexron 3 is a good replacement for that. So if it's red in color, that's what's in there. Um, if it's the clearish to light brown, then it's it's uh, universal most likely. And that's a good substitute if you're gonna clean it all or change it all at once. But a good test for these is to drive up a hill because the way they're designed in direct and over, they cannot turn backwards. And so that's what makes them shift hard, the main transmission. If you wanna make your shifting easy, always shift to underdrive before you shift gears because a good over and under will hold pressure and can't turn backwards. And, and so that puts a bind against the gear and just really makes it hard to shift this. So just always shift down to underdrive that and it's easier taking off with your clutch uh, if you're in underdrive the lowest speed but one thing i found is if you drive up a, hit, a somewhat steep hill and uh and then hit the clutch but leave it in overdrive it might it should take it a few seconds before it rolls backwards because the pressure has to bleed off from the overdrive clutch pack let's try it oh i'm in gear and my say neutral safety switch works neutral safety switch Oh, I gotta push the button. I think this should be enough of a hill right here. I'll do it in underdrive first. Should start rolling backwards, yep. Okay, now I'm gonna go up to direct. And with it in direct, see how it won't roll backwards? Now it will. That means it's pretty good. Uh, direct drive has uh, ceiling rings that can bleed off quicker than overdrive. So if it holds for a second or so, it's doing pretty good. It doesn't take long for the pressure to bleed off from over, or under, or direct. <laughs> now see how over, yep pressure bled off then it can roll backwards but it took it a, a second or so so this one's holding good that doesn't a guarantee isn't a guarantee that everything's not worn out inside but it's at least good enough to where it won't leak off quick i've seen them hold a lot longer than that i haven't been through the over and under in this unit so but I haven't had any problems with it slipping either. And there it goes. Let's try direct. Yeah, direct didn't last very long, but like I say, the nature of the ceiling rings on the shaft make direct uh, leak down a little faster. Here we go. Yep, no, I have to use clutch. Shift down. One of these days I'll make a repair video, video for these. I uh, just gotta get one to work on. But I hope everybody found this informative, useful. Here's another hell. And I appreciate everybody watching. This one ain't as steep of a hill. It's not gonna let it roll as fast. Or at all. But, hey everybody. Oops. But once again, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.